Here is the agenda for this video. We will cover all of these steps in this video. At the end of this video in steps 9 through 11, I will show you how to uninstall everything that we installed in this video. And the installation is steps 1 through 8. I'm currently working on a website where I need to convert some of the URLs that have underscores to dashes. For example, I need to redirect this URL with underscores to this URL with dashes. In this video, I will show you how I did this using IIS Rewrite Module. Please check out my website, ASPXGirl.com, where you can copy and download all the code and files from this video. Now I will show you how to create the C-sharp program. First open Visual Studio. Then click on File, New, Project. Click on Class Library and name the solution Replace Provider and click OK button. And now we need to add a reference to this DLL, microsoft.web.iis.rewrite.dll. And this DLL should be located in this directory on your computer, if you have it. Um, it is not on my computer, so I got the DLL from a friend. Um, and I will provide a link where you can download this DLL in the description in case you don't have it on your computer. Um, I was told that you could get it from this URL if you um, install the URL rewrite, but I tried it and I wasn't able to get it. So I just got it from a friend. So the way you add that reference is you click on References, right-click, Add Reference, and then Browse. And this is the file I got from my friend, and I just store it wherever. It doesn't matter where you put it. Um, Double-click on it, and then click OK. And there it is in my references now. And now I'm going to delete this class here. And then I'm going to add a new class, right click on the projects, add, and then class, and name that replace provider, and click add. Now we're just going to copy a whole bunch of code in there. And I can provide this code in a link in the description so that you don't have to retype it. Now we're going to sign the solution, so we're going to right click on the project, select properties, click on the signing tab, check the box that says sign the assembly, choose a strong, where it says choose a strong name key file, select new, and then the key file name, type in replace provider.snk, and then uncheck protect my key file with a password, and then click OK. And then um, we want to change this debug to release. And we want to rebuild. And the rebuild was successful. So that's all. That's it. We created the C Sharp program. So now we want to find the location of your solution file on your computer and go to the bin directory and go to release and then copy all of these these files and DLLs to your server and then go to your server and here's where I copied them and this path right here the C website GAC we will use that later when we're um, copying code to the PowerShell we will need this path this is the path to our DLLs on the server Now I'm going to show you how to open a Windows PowerShell as admin. So first you click on this icon here in the lower left corner. 
and then find the search and type in PowerShell and click on Windows PowerShell. And now you have it open. Now I'm going to show you how to install the DLL on your server. So basically, we are going to just copy all of this code into the PowerShell, one line at a time. And just make sure that you replace this path and this path with the appropriate path on your server where you've stored the replace provider.dll. So let's start with line one and go control C to copy. And then over here, right click and press return. Then come back over here and copy the second line, control C, and then right click to paste it. And then over here, um, copy this line and paste it. And then copy this line and paste it. And now we're going to do an IIS reset, which is going to take down all the websites for a minute. Now it's stopping IIS, it's going to try and start it, and it usually fails, so I have to do it a second time to get it to start again. So we'll just wait here, it'll take a little while, while it's attempting to stop. Attempting start, it probably will fail, yep it did. Now we're going to put IIS reset in there again. Now it's going to, it will work this time. It should anyway. And there, now it's started. Great. So now um, it's installed. Now I will show you how to add a provider to IIS. So first select the website that you want on the left side and then find URL rewrite and double click on it. And then on the right side, click on view providers. And right now you can see that there aren't any. So click on add provider. And then for the name, type in replace provider. And then for the manage type, you should see this right here. And if you don't see this, then that means you didn't install it correctly into the PowerShell. So you definitely want to see this here. Then click OK. And then notice how the replace provider shows up right here in our list of providers. So after the last step, if you look at the web config file for the website, you will see that it added this line right here. And um, we need to add something to that. So I'm going to just copy this right here. And we need to go into here and take away this slash. And then close the provider. And then paste this code in here. Now, you could also actually just copy this into your web config, but I think it might be different on my computer from yours. And also, doing it the other way gave us a chance to um, make sure that everything was working and that the um, dropdown was populated with the DLL. So that lets us know that we got everything installed correctly. So I think it's better to do it the other way and add the provider through IIS. One more thing I should mention is when we added the settings here in the provider, um, now you can go to your providers list and this has a, a plus, you can expand it and now you can see the old character and the new character properties that we added here. Okay, so now we finally get to create our rewrite rules. Remember, we are trying to go, we're trying to redirect from this URL to this URL. 
So let's look at this. Um, this is the regular expression for this. So this right here captures this five digit number here. And this right here captures this one, which we don't do anything with. We just throw that away. And then this right here captures the underscore word. And R1 is the first capture. So that's this five digit number here that, that will go here. So that takes care of this. And then R3 is this capture, so that's the underscore. R3 would be the underscored word, but then this text right here is the replace provider, so that replaces the underscore word with the dashes. So then that um, translates into this. So this uh, regular expression here um, creates this URL here. I almost forgot to mention this, but this rule here will replace, will take all of the URLs on your entire website and replace the underscore with the dashes. And this is not something I would want to use because I like to pick and choose which URLs that it replaces the underscores with dashes. But I thought I'd mention it just in case someone is interested in that. Okay, so let's test this out on a few URLs and make sure this works. So I'm going to copy this URL with underscores and watch it redirect to dashes. Okay, that worked. And let's copy this URL with underscores and watch it redirect to dashes. Great. And now I want to show you that this URL, I do not want um, the underscores to change at this point, uh, maybe at a later date. So I'm going to copy that one, and you'll see that it will not redirect. And that's good because we don't want all of our URLs to redirect, just some of them. So great, it's working. The first step in the uninstallation is to remove all instances of the replace provider from your web.config. If you do not do this step before the next steps of the uninstallation, then you will get this error on every page of your website. Now we need to remove the provider from the website and the easiest way to do that is just to delete this line from the web config file and press save. Or if you prefer you could go into IIS and Go to your rewrite providers list and right click on the replace provider and click on remove. And then click on yes and now the replace provider is removed. Now I'm going to show you how to uninstall the DLL from your server in case you want to roll back. So basically we're just going to copy each, all this code line by line into PowerShell 
and just make sure that you replace this path and this path with the appropriate path on your server where you put the replace provider.dll. So let's start with the first line, control C to copy, and then over here, uh, right click to paste and then press return. Same thing with this line, copy, paste, return. Next line, copy, paste, return. Next line, copy, paste, return. Now we're going to do an IIS reset, which is going to take down all the websites for a second. Now, a lot of times this will stop and then it won't start again, so I've got to do it twice. So right now it's stopping and then it's going to try starting again. Okay, now it's attempting to start. It failed, so I'm going to um, paste IIS reset again, and it should work this time. Great, it worked. Now it's uninstalled. Here I would just like to point out how similar the install and the uninstall code is. The only difference is um, the GAC install is called here in the install and the GAC remove is called here in the uninstall.